Good morning everyone! For this week I have decided to try making epoxy board again. Last time I wasn't happy because it ended up being very translucent. And to top it all off there weren't enough sparkles in it! So this time I plan to remedy that problem. However, I have run out of natural cool looking life edge wood. Thus I resort to the next best thing. I use scrap pieces of wood unfit for any project to make a life edge look alike. This way if project fails I do not feel so bad about wasting wood that was garbage anyways. So I took my trusty jigsaw, set it to 30 degree angle and proceeded to fabricate life edge. Once it was ready I have realized it looks too fabricated and needs to be natural looking. So out came the belt sander to give it more curve like and natural look. Not to mention the extra scratches incurred on the wood from the sander make the epoxy stick even better. If anyone knows how to min my sawdust however uh, while using the belt sander please let me know. I was covered in sawdust from head to heel and I couldn't even walk without just being a cloud of sawdust. Now that all the wood pieces were ready it was time to make epoxy. I went really heavy on the pigment and even heavier on the sparkles. I used up half of my 45 gram container of sparkles on this and then proceeded to mix the whole thing up for 20 minutes and if you're making any epoxy projects you should do that too. And then I poured it and I was shocked to find out that I couldn't see any sparkles, but I held on to hope. After letting it cure for about 10 hours, I proceeded to stir it up for a pretty pattern. This will make sure that the whole thing doesn't look overly bland and plain and boring. After waiting for another 3 days, I proceeded to smack epoxy out of the mold. Using pre-made molds is actually more fun than making one yourself because self-made ones create too much waste and they're a little bit more harder to smack the epoxy out of. Once out of the mold, I proceeded to plane the board. Note of advice, my planer hates epoxy. I do not know if any planer out there likes epoxy. My poor planer kept getting choked up and I had to clean it out after every 3 passes. I promised myself that if this board ends up going as I envision, then I will stop making epoxy boards. Seriously, this was way too painful. Once the whole thing was properly planed, I proceeded to cut the ends off. They make excellent bookmarks and also somewhat decent rulers actually, so if you are doing this, do keep those cut off edges. Now it is time to route the edges so that they look nice. And once again I am reminded why I really really hate working with epoxy. Wood shavings coming off of a router are manageable. Epoxy shavings get all staticky and stick to every single conceivable surface and are very very hard to vacuum. It is a huge headache. Also, this is where I realized that my board is too thin for the design that I was planning for it. But that's nothing a little bit of sanding can fix. And this is where I start sanding. I originally started with 80 grit with a soft pad and to my horror I realized that the borders I made with the router have been sanded cleanly off. So I had to be a bit more aggressive on the sander in order to get it to look all smooth with this new mistake that I made. And then I proceeded to go from 80 grit all the way up to 800 grit while slowly increasing the grit. I learned that there is no point in making huge jumps to grit, it is best to increment by 20 or 30 grit up every single time. Sanding did work out quite well surprisingly and the only thing left to do was to oil it. One thing I do like about epoxy is when the oil hits it, it just pops to life and just shines so well. With oiling done, my board was ready. And to my disappointment, I couldn't see half the container of sparkles I emptied into the epoxy unfortunately. Thus, my mission was a fail and I will have to do another epoxy board until I get what I want. Next time I will use just as many sparkles but a lot less pigment, a middle ground between my first board and this one. Overall however, I am very satisfied with how this board turned out. I like the green and the swirls and the general shape of it, although next time I should probably get a thicker board to use so that, uh, so that I can route it better. If you enjoyed watching this video by the way, as much as I like making this, then please consider subscribing and maybe leaving a like. I try to release videos weekly. If you have any questions or comments then those are very welcome too since I am a beginner and would love some feedback both on video making and woodworking. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week for another fun project. Bye bye!